Lewis Hamilton, uh, how close are the two of you? It's incredible his passion for motorsport. His passion for MotoGP, but in general, he's very curious, you know. And I always, I always uh, text with him. Uh, he wanna come at the ranch. Uh, he's a good guy. W what were you guys message about? Ah, just uh, usually congratulations after races uh, or support, uh, you know. So uh, I mentioned to you we've filmed an episode with Lewis before. Yes. Uh, we also taped one with Nico Rosberg Nico right Rosberg. after he won uh, the the championship. How similar is what Lewis went through with his then teammate Nico to what you went through with Lorenzo? It seemed very similar, yeah. They are more friends compared to me and Lorenzo because uh, I think that they raced together uh, from the go-kart. They did, right. But it's very similar, you know, it's two top riders with the best team, the, the best cars, and for us it was the best bike. The problem is that uh, you fight for the same goal. So you have one, uh, one moment when, uh, where your road uh, <laughs> don't go straight. And uh, it's not easy because uh, everybody won't win. Yes. Right. Your chief rival is also your teammate. Yes. Uh, what are the issues it creates? It's difficult because something happened. Something happened in the track, usually. The tension is very high. And uh, maybe you, see, you say something uh, with the interview with the journalist that you say something bad about, uh, about uh, your teammate. Uh, and uh, it's not easy. It's very difficult to don't have uh, a fight. You know, like uh, Nico and Luis, for example. Right. When was it the worst for you? In 2009 in Barcelona, when uh, we, we, we fight for all the race and I was able to overtake him on the last, uh, on the last uh, lap, on the last corner. And also in, in the team start to have some problem because uh, our part of the team make a big disaster because I won, the other were uh, angry. That was uh, the, the difficult moment, yes. And how true is it that it got to the point where you said to Yamaha, look, either he needs to go or I'm going to go? In uh, 2008, Yamaha decided to uh, make a team with two top riders. I was uh, hungry with, uh, with the Yamaha because I said, I come here, I won after 20 years. I deserve uh, a rider that is a little bit less than me. But no, they decide to do like this. So this bring me to uh, change bike and go with the Ducati. Because uh, with Lorenzo was, uh, was difficult. What did you say to Yamaha? First of all, the, the Japanese engineer that bring me, bring me to, to the Yamaha and work with, 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 with the Yamaha, stop. So I lose a very important part of my relationship with Yamaha. And after I know that Lorenzo remain, I feel that the team push for, for Lorenzo, so I decide, uh, I decide to change. How uncomfortable, if at all, was it then later on reaching out to them about coming back? Hey, this day of the coming back was interesting because... Uh, <laughs> uh, I bet. Yeah, yeah. because um, I tried the Ducati yeah. uh, and I don't feel comfortable with the bike. After I have, an, uh, I have the surgery to the shoulder, and, and you flirted with the possibility of going to Ducati before you ever went to Yamaha in the first place. Yeah, I want to try to win with, uh, yeah. with the Ducati. And, and because also it's an Italian bike with Italian rider, so it's uh, like, like a dream. Yeah. But uh, when I, I, don't feel, uh, I don't feel good with, uh, with the Ducati, I go to Yamaha and I say, I feel very bad. I, I, want, I want to come back. And they say, no, uh, not possible. So at the beginning of 2012, they say to me, no way. And I was very worried because, uh, sincerely, I think uh, I have to stop because I don't want to race anymore with the Ducati, but sincerely, I don't have other, other places that I like. But after, after three, four months, something changed in Japan and they decide to, to open the team another time for me. And uh, it was a great moment. Was that better than the, the first time you signed with Yamaha? Because the day you were supposed to sign the contract. The, the first one? Right. You were very late, right? Very late, yes. And uh, Honda pushed me very much for sign, 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 sign. And, uh, but I already decided to go with the, with the Yamaha. So the guy from Honda came in my office, I remember. And he, he, he take the, with the contract. And he say, now is uh, stop joking. This is the contract you have to sign. If not, you don't race. 
And uh, I laugh and uh, I say, okay, uh, I take the contract and I give to him. I don't sign. That, that was a, a very good moment of my life because I think it was in 2004. I changed from, uh, from Honda to Yamaha. I won the first race with Yamaha, so this already was uh, incredible. Be because nobody thought that that was no. a remote possibility. Nobody yes. left Honda. If you wanted to win, you stayed with Honda. Yeah, you know, Honda, Honda dominate MotoGP. I stayed with Honda in four years and uh, I won three championships. So Yamaha was in a difficult moment. And then, uh, first of all, nobody expected that uh, I move. Right. Nobody did that. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and also because I have a lot, a lot of pressure because they say to me, Valentino win because he have a best bike. So I want to demonstrate that that is not true. And they moved to Yamaha. And that almost made you paranoid, right? Like people saying you always had the best. Yes. Uh, that be, like yeah. that, that really got to you, right? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yes, I was angry because I know, I know that uh, it's not the truth. I can be the faster also with another bike. But at the beginning, it was, uh, was crazy, you know? Right. It was, was stupid, more than crazy force.